Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is coming to Kickstarter called Mouse Cheese Cat Cucumber. Yeah, this one is designed by Sefi Yoon, published by Fight in a Box. It plays one to four players. And this is an interesting game that has four different characters, hence the mouse, cheese, cat, and cucumber. <laughs> so you're going to be one of those four characters and you have your own individual win condition. That's right. So this is coming to us from a publisher that designed a game called Hedgehog Hop, mm -hmm. which is another game that we did a preview for when we first started a channel a long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. That was a fun, a fun little game. But in this game, we are playing as asymmetric characters with different win conditions. And we are going to be playing the game, building this mechanical maze, trying to achieve our win condition. There are two different versions of the game. There is a standard game that we are going to be showcasing today as well as the deluxe edition and so once we have a link to the campaign we'll include it in the description below but before we get started we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes and if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more please consider subscribing and with that we're going to get started so if you please direct your attention to the center of the table we are all set up here for our two-player game of mouse cheese cat cucumber yes, mouse cheese cat cucumber <laughs> that's a lot of characters mm -hmm. so in the middle here we have our four starting tiles that also features the mouse and the cheese mm -hmm. and this is going to make up the beginning of our maze and so up here we have the conveyor belt that, that features the four starting maze tiles that we will be able to select from and over here we have the four rolls we have the mouse the cheese the cat, and the cucumber. And so at the start of the game, each player is going to be dealt one of these four identity cards. And depending on who you are, you will have a different win condition. So if you play as the cat, you have two different win conditions potentially. While we're building the maze over the course of the game, if you happen to come across the mouse, then the game will end immediately and you'll win. Yep. If you play as the mouse, you have the same kind of a mid-game possibility of a win. And that is if the mouse meets the cheese, then the game ends immediately yeah. and you win. Uh, the last two rolls, which are the cheese and the cucumber, they only score if we get to the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. Meaning if neither the mouse or the cat wins mid-game, we will go to the end of the game and have true end game scoring in which all four characters has their own condition. So we will discuss all of those in a second. And just to be clear, nobody knows your identity when the cards are dealt. Mm -hmm. These are all face down. It's a big secret. Mm -hmm. And so each turn is comprised of five different phases. The very first thing that you're allowed to do on your turn is each of these cards has its own once per game ability. And that we will probably discuss as we play the game. But to start your turn, you may reveal your identity now showing everybody at the table who you are and take the immediate ability. And then afterwards, you must choose one of these conveyor tiles to place onto the maze. Mm -hmm. And so the way that that works is you can choose any one of these and you must place it either orthogonally adjacent to a card already in the maze or you can replace a card that's in the maze as long as the wall structure is the same. So for this card, I wouldn't be able to place it here because this is a, a tile that has a walls on two sides, but I could place it here, uh, essentially replacing that card because there is a size limit. We cannot uh, surpass a five by five grid. Mm -hmm. So we have a two by two to start. Can't go beyond five by five. Exactly. And so let's just say I place this tile right here. Once you're done placing, then uh, each tile also has these gears shown on some of the sides. And so any tile that is adjacent to a wall that has a gear must be rotated in the direction of that gear. And to be clear, you are going based off of the tile that you just placed. And so this tile has only one tile that's adjacent and the gear is showing a counterclockwise direction. So I must rotate this tile in this fashion. Yeah, and going back to that, the gear colors do not have to match. Correct. Once that's finished, if the new tile that you place is adjacent to either the mouse or the cat, if the cat has been revealed, then the mouse must actually move through the tile. Which means, had I placed this tile here, then the mouse would have had to move through the tile to a legal spot. And a legal spot is anywhere in the 5x5 grid that is empty. Mm -hmm. So I would move the mouse right there, for example. And this is important because if at any time the mouse were to meet the cheese, then the game would end immediately in the mouse's victory. Mm -hmm. And once that's done, then you just end your turn by drawing the next conveyor belt tile. About halfway through this stack, a cat tile will be revealed that looks very similar to this mouse. And what you're going to then do is take that cat tile and place it somewhere orthogonally adjacent as close as you can to the cheese. That's right. And at that point, the risk is much greater because now the cat is going to be moving if you place uh, room tiles adjacent to the cat. Exactly. And yeah. if the cat ever comes across the mouse, then the game ends immediately in the cat's victory. But eventually, somewhere towards the very bottom of the stack, there is a cucumber tile. Mm -hmm. And so if we ever get to that point, then the game would end immediately and we will go into true scoring. And now everybody has a chance to win. 
And by that point, we will have a much bigger maze. But basically the way that that works is if you can draw a path to the cheese from the mouse at the end of the game, then the mouse wins. Mm -hmm. As long as the cat doesn't have a path to the mouse. Exactly, yeah. The opposite is also true. If you can draw a path from the cat to the mouse and the mouse cannot get to the cheese, then the cat will win. Mm -hmm. The cheese doesn't want anybody to win. Right. <laughs> so for, for the cheese to win, the cat cannot have a path to the mouse and the mouse cannot have a path to the cheese. To it, yeah. And the cucumber wants everybody to get to each other. Right. They just want, they want the cat to eat the mouse and the mouse to eat the cheese. Yes. So if that, if that were to happen, then the cucumber would win. That's exactly it. And so that is the entire multiplayer game in a nutshell. There is a solo mode, which we are not going to be able to showcase today, mm -hmm. but we're going to do a tiny bit of cleanup and then we will get into our playthrough. Okay, so we are ready to play. We have everything reset. Now we just got to figure out what character we are. Ready? Yep. All right. I guess I get to choose. I'll yes. take the top one right here. That is your secret identity. I'll take this one. Okay. The rest go out of the game. Interesting. Okay. We'll see. Okay, who goes first? Okay, yep. Me. You All right. Go first. So I will begin uh, my turn, and I'm not going to reveal <laughs> my, my uh, yeah. person yet. And so I'm going to start by putting out one of these cards. So I'm going to start by putting out this tile. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place this. Ooh. <laughs> what direction do we want to go? I'm going to go like this. Okay. I'm going to place it here adjacent to the mouse. So because I placed it here, the mouse must go through it if possible, which it is possible. So I'm going to have the mouse go down this way. And then I refill. Okay, so, and even though we saw the cog over here, the, the mouse is not considered a tile, so you don't rotate the mouse. Right, it has yep. to be a wall tile, because mm -hmm. the orientation of these don't matter. All right, so now it is your turn. Me, huh? Okay, I will put this tile here Ooh. in the dead center. So because there's two cogs, this one's going to rotate clockwise. Okay. And then as will this one, like that. Interesting. All right, new yep. card. New card. And the cat is somewhere in the middle here. Yes, the cat is somewhere know. in the middle, and the cucumber is somewhere within the last four Yes, four last, cards. yeah, bottom four. Okay, okay, so I'm going to take this tile. I'm going to place it right here. Okay. So this is going to move the mouse again. It's going to go this way, because it is a diagonal, uh -huh. diagonal room tile. Interesting. We're moving. We're moving in a shaking. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have oh, to yeah. put out another. Ah, you're going to take that to oh, You know something. <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay, so I'll take this one. And this one is going to be a clean overlay. So I will lay that right down there. Okay. And this mouse will go right on back home. All right. All right, let's New clean tile. it up. Clean it up. We're playing, uh, we're playing mouse. Mouse chicken. Mouse chicken. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this this cross looking tile. And I'm gonna place it like this. Okay. Just like that. So, so no cog movement. No cog movement. The cogs are facing uh, over here. So, so none of the tiles get moved. Sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace this with this T looking, or not a T. Yeah, T. A, a T hallway. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say T. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take this straight away. I like the rug. So we're gonna put it here. Ah. And it's going to rotate this. Now, because it's a four away, I don't think it really affects much. <laughs> no. But let's put that right there and get you a new one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this card, this room, <laughs> corner room, and I'm going to place it right here. Mm -hmm. So this is this is our, I'm, I'm overlaying it because it is the same number of walls, just like Naveen did earlier. Uh, it doesn't rotate anything, but uh, it does require me to move the mouse through it. So it's going to go this way, and I'm going to have it go... All the way over here. And then I will replace it. Aha! Ooh, the cat. The cat. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. <laughs> okay, so the cat has, has been revealed. We must place the cat uh, orthogonally adjacent to the cheese uh -huh. as close as possible. So the only possible place is right here. Wow. Next to the mouse. Now, just because they're next to each other doesn't mean the cat wins or anything. Mm -hmm. The cat must go over On top the mouse. Of, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I put another tile out. Whoa. Oh, this is this doesn't have any entrances. No, it's just a room. But it does have mouse holes. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is the mouse, then they can use their ability to go through That's that right. room. Yep. That was okay. shocking. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll take this over here and place it this way. Now this has a gear or a cog, so it's going to rotate this. And now the mouse can safely <laughs> go away. Ah. 
Tuck you did the, the mouse. The you did the mouse in service. Yes, I did. And now we got to replace. I always forget to replace. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to place it here. Mm -hmm. So this marks our fifth card in the row. Yes. And as a reminder, okay. we are building a maximum five by five grid. So now we can no longer put cards in other, either side of this row. And uh, this doesn't rotate anything, but this does require me to move the mouse. So we're going to move the mouse to the north, to the north, uh, northeast. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a new card. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that new card. Okay. And let's place it like this. And that's going to force this to rotate. Mm hmm And that's also going to force this to rotate. That's right. Yep. New tile? Oh, uh, please, yeah. Okay, so you have a straightaway. So we have, we're a little bit more than halfway through. So depending on who you are, you don't have that much time to figure out your pathways. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play this card right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's going to oh, rotate no. this card uh, counterclockwise. You're the mouse. And I have to, I'm required, I'm not gonna confirm or deny that, You're but I'm mouse. required to move the mouse through this oh, hallway. Shoot. It's gonna go diagonally down and across I didn't the see it. Jeez. You ate me. Oh, you're the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the mouse. Oh, man. So Monique's object of the game is to just get to the cheese ASAP. Yeah. As the cheese, I'm the disgruntled, like, cheese king. And I basically <laughs> want nobody to be happy. So I don't want the cat to find the, the uh, mouse. I don't want to get eaten as the cheese. And then the cucumber is technically nothing. So. Yeah. So Naveen had to have played <sighs> keep away. I was trying to play keep away. Until the very end. I was surprised he didn't take that, knowing that I could I, potentially. You know, I didn't see it for some reason. <laughs> I was like, oh. I'm, I think I'm clearly the mouse. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was definitely trying to move the mouse towards the cheese. Yeah. I, I was trying to mess up this middle area here because there was mm. so much. Uh, you were doing right? pretty well there yeah. for like the first three quarters of right. it. Then like that last, you can't keep your eyes off yeah. of these potential pathways. When there are, you know, potentially mice and cat, I was worried that you're the cat. Yo, and it, and it showed up. Well, yeah, it's if you're the 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 mouse, then it's a one in three chance that I'm the cat. Right yeah, there, so yeah. And suddenly suddenly the cat came out, and I was like, uh oh. Yeah. I want I want to try to get the cheese. Before you got as close the to the to the to the yeah, cat as possible, right? And then the cat got pulled. So, yeah. yeah. But that's so. it. Anyway, that was it. Had yeah. we finished to the end of the round, Naveen would have had to figure out a way to make it so that. Nobody. I had to segregate all the characters, basically. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it seems like, yeah, that was kind of a tough you running out the clock. Yeah, you got me good. That was yeah. good. I, I so, Well, had I taken that tile, you're right. I just didn't recognize it. Yeah, had I been yeah. taking that tile, then I, it wouldn't have ended. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there you go. That okay. is that is our play of Mouse, Cheese, Cat, Cucumber. Um, in a four-player game, everybody plays as all of them, so it's all, everything is fair game. Mm -hmm. You know that everybody's in. So you're, everything's in play. You're yeah. actively like really trying to combat these these, these things. Uh, we do want to mention that there is a solo mode to mm -hmm. this game, and th there's also other variants of play, and they're all in the rulebook. The game that you just saw us play is the main version of the game. Right. Uh, I, I believe as a part of the campaign, there's also a, a different... Uh, edition of this game. There is a deluxe edition. Deluxe. Yeah, and this is what they look like. Uh, so the tiles are actually a, a nice plastic. Um, or acry acrylic. Acrylic, maybe? yeah, kind of like, I don't know, it's like glass-like. Uh, and everything is nice and denoted. We we weren't sure if we wanted to play with these because it can cause some glare on the camera. Mm -hmm. So that's why we didn't showcase these. Plus these tiles are bigger here, yeah. but they're beautiful. They are beautiful. Yeah. They, they are really beautiful. Look at that. That is, Very this intricate. is the, the mouse that's going to be going around. And this is the prototype version of the deluxe edition. They are going to make improvements to this. Right. And uh, so, the, you know, the, the real retail version is going to be nicer and a lot more accurate. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, and as a reminder, this game is coming to Kickstarter on February 16th, which is about uh, a week away or so, or yeah. less than a week. Soon. So we're going to include the link to the Kickstarter campaign once we have it, as well as the Fight in a Box website. So they do uh, other types of games, all like small box, a uh, really, you know, quick, neat, kind of like a high, high fun experience, I guess. Yeah, quick games in mm -hmm. and out. Uh, the last one we did or we covered was Hedgehog Hop. That mm -hmm. was, like we said, early on in our YouTubing. Uh, <laughs> so that video is somewhere out there. They'll have very yeah. unique themes. Mm -hmm. That's what I appreciate about Find yeah, the Box. Yeah, that's right. So, so anyway, that is Mouse, Cheese, Cat, Cucumber. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.